Today, the Society for Cardiovascular Angiography and Interventions published an expert consensus statement. It provides cardiologists, oncologists, and internal medicine physicians guidance for treating patients that face a double jeopardy of concomitant cardiovascular disease and cancer. The expert consensus statement will be available online and will be published in Catheterization and Cardiovascular Intervention Journal. Cancer is associated with a hypercoagulable state, which increases the risk of acute thrombotic events. Cancer therapies can cause significant injury to the vasculature, resulting in angina, acute coronary syndromes, and heart failure, and even independently, a direct myocardial effect. Little data to no data exists because cancer patients have been excluded from national PCI registries and from most randomized trials involving percutaneous coronary interventions. As a result, the Society for Cardiovascular Angiography and Interventions commissioned the consensus group to define the landscape and to provide a recommendation on the available published medical literature and the expertise of operators with accumulated experience in the cardiac catheterization laboratory with cancer patients. Besides reviewing the mechanisms of toxicities in cancer patients, chemotherapy or radiation induced, the document covers several other aspects of cardiovascular care, like screening and cardioprotection, as well as percutaneous coronary interventions in patients with thrombocytopenia, anemia, fractional flow reserve and intravascular ultrasound, as well as OCT for complex intravascular assessment and deferring stenting if possible. The document included the non-coronary interventional procedure in cancer patients, like endomyocardial biopsy and pericardiosynthesis, as well as aortic valvuloplasty and TAVI. The Society for Cardiovascular Angiography and Interventions recognized oncocardiology as one of the top healthcare challenges in 2015, and several healthcare institutions have founded oncocardiology, cardio-oncology departments, and fellowship training programs. The aim of the document and of the Society for Cardiovascular Angiography and Intervention is to increase the competency of the cardiovascular community to provide cancer care to cancer patients. Thank you.